stupid. Somebody say oh, wheelies. Oh, I said wheelies. Oh, wheel wheelies. What car do you think of when you think, damn, I want to make a wheelie build? It's definitely not a hypercar. So that's what it did. We're making the Vulcan into a wheelie build. So th this requires you to make a drag car. Drag cars are the new spec of the game, and it obviously really makes sense. They had drag races in the last game, and now they have a proper drag specification, and I cannot wait to properly start using it in the game. But what we can do today is not only just build the car, because the past few videos we've actually just been kind of building cars. Now, the, new the newest level of showing you stuff is here we're gonna speed through a lot of this build make it the green and all this kind of, make it beautiful make it a, a car that i would dream to drive and we're gonna take this thing and make it into a proper wheelie car now to be fair it's already ridiculously quick it's already one of the bloody quickest cars in the bloody game so as you can see very clearly out of the bat it just does some pretty sick wheelies now if you want Pretty much any car, any car can do wheelies from what I've actually tested. Not 100% sure on that. That's just me saying it. But essentially, we have here, right, a wheelie car that didn't need any upgrades. If you want to wheelie pretty much any everything else, you're probably going to have to upgrade it. You have to remember that this thing is ridiculously fast without doing any upgrades to it. Now, the essential thing that you need to do for to do a wheelie in this game, if you want to know, there's no trick or anything. You upgrade the car and make it very powerful. You stand still, you launch it, NOS gives you more power. Boom, you're doing a wheelie. Now, I could not replace the diffuser on this car, and I have a feeling that the diffuser was actually stopping this car from doing a full, proper wheelie. It could have done a lot more, I reckon, but literally, the diffuser was in the way because it's such a low car. I reckon if I raised it, and then remove the diffuser, uh, it would it would have done amazing wheelies. Now, I'm interested to find out how it's going to work when some cars maybe have wheelie bars or something, because I think I remember some of them seeing some of them have wheelie bars, like the older classic muscle cars. I'm not too sure, but that would be pretty sick if it actually leaned on the wheelie bars, because on a lot of games, they just kind of don't actually do anything. I mean, GTA has wheelie bars. They don't do anything. Need for speed, though. We're gonna see. Hopefully, it's the game to actually make purpose, purposely use, use purpose, purpose of the wheelie bars. And uh, the reason I wanted to do the hurricane, I mean, come on, the, what? I wanted to try something else. I'm gonna be honest with you. The hurricane, the uh, hurricane, the Vulcan was not my first choice when it came to making a wheelie build. My first choice was actually. A build I was going to do, but I didn't actually end up posting, which was the McLaren P1, which is easily my favorite hypercar ever, just because of the fact that it's British and I'm slightly bad. So, so is the Aston Thea. I know, but the P1 just has a special place in my heart for being like the first proper hypercar that I fell in love with, other than the Carrera GC with that car. Anyway, I tried to wheelie this car and it was not having it. Upgraded it, was not having it. I think a bit more with playing around with this and it will work, but it needs a lot more playing than this. We had limited time, so I wanted to just build a car that was just going to jump in and do some insane wheelies. And the P1 was not that, unfortunately, because that would have made a pretty cool thumbnail, a wheelie in P1. That would have been amazing. Instead, we get a wheelie in Vulcan, which is still pretty cool, nevertheless, but it's not as cool as a P1. All right, it's What's cooler, P1 or Vulcan? Let me know. Not Hurricane, I keep saying Hurricane for some reason. Now you can actually do some live tuning on some of these cars as well, or on all of the drag cars. You can actually tune it to make the gears longer or shorter, so acceleration or top speed, and you can achieve, uh, increase or decrease the steering sensitivity and the power duration NOS options. Brilliant. That's, that's like the only options you need, and I found if you're in free roam, you can obviously tune while just driving around. So if you put it towards acceleration, drive, and then switch it to full speed afterwards, you're gonna get quite a bit more power, right? A bit more of a top speed. Surely that's how it's gonna work. I mean, it, let's be honest, it's probably not that big of a deal, but hey, it's it's fun to be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, the, the launch of some of these cars as is, ridiculous. Uh, I, I wanna really, I, I think my main focus, honestly, looking at this, obviously you can do the hypercar, uh, drag car, but let's be honest, most of us, if not all of us, are mostly gonna be using mon uh, muscle cars for the drag cars. That's, personally, that's just like the best use for those cars. I think it's gonna be awesome to have like a 1960, whatever it is, 1970 Camaro doing wheelies, looking like a drag car, blacked out, I'd never black out cars. So, you know, if I say I'm going to black out a car, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I'm, I'm losing my mind over it. 
Anyway, so let me know what you guys want to see. I've got a lot more stuff to show you and the game is so close now. You could not believe I can I can smell it. Can you smell it? It smells like pure victory. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and you want to see more, be sure to smash like and subscribe because I'm going to be posting a heck of a lot more. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be Needs to be Payback if you hadn't realized. So next time, guys, peace.